He approaches to Hubei province like scenes from an apocalyptic movie. Only after a temperature scan can you pass these checkpoints. The unwell are not allowed to travel. What's more, the lockdown is spreading. Roads out of the infection zone are being closed. So, basically, that's the border that way. Uh, the police have told us that we can drive in, but we can't drive out. So it seems that this whole province where the coronavirus first broke out is now going to be locked down. We cross the border and drive through ghost towns. Instead of Lunar New Year celebrations, people are in survival mode. On the first day of the year of the rat, all these shops are closed. There's pretty much nobody on the street here. I mean, this is just one of the towns you come across when you first enter the province and people just don't know for how long it's gonna be like this, for how long they have to stay indoors or risk being infected with this potentially deadly coronavirus, which causes pneumonia. Hospitals here have been flooded with patients. There are thousands who run well, but are not sure if their symptoms mean it's the coronavirus. One man inside this hospital speaks to us from his hospital bed. He said he hasn't been told if he's contracted the potentially deadly virus, but he's worried he could catch it anyway from others in his ward. I wish him a speedy recovery and the police arrive as if on cue. They won't confirm if a province-wide lockdown of 60 million people is about to start. Plus, local officials want us to leave. So, as night falls, they escort us back across the border. Stephen McDonnell, BBC News, Hubei.